Hi everyone and welcome to Focus Outdoors. Hunting rough grouse can be quite a challenge. That makes today's show so special. Our founder Tom Porker, an experienced grouse hunter and guide, will hunt with Steve Grossman of the Little Moran Hunt Club. Steve is one of the most knowledgeable rough grouse hunters on the planet. So come along as we pursue rough grouse in central Minnesota. Focus Outdoors, we'll be right back. Focus Outdoors is brought to you by Quail and Pheasant Restoration Technologies, the next generation in game bird restoration. Remington Sporting Dog, quality products for family, pet, and sporting dog owners. South Dakota Tourism, visit huntinsd.com to plan your hunting vacation to South Dakota. Rio Ammunition, sporting ammunition since 1896. Country Vet Pet Foods, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Pattern Master, shotgun chokes for any game. And real wings, the deadliest decoys on the planet. We're gonna we're gonna do some interesting things today. We're gonna talk about setters, and we're gonna talk about grouse and woodcock. And this is the man. If you've ever had any questions, that can answer them. I used to work with Steve and his wife Gail here at Little Moran Hunt Club, which seems like eons ago. It is, you know, and we're. It seems like, geez, like yesterday when we started the business. This is our 25th anniversary. We started the club in 1984 and uh, started as a the kind of the nucleus. The nucleus is the shoot and preserve and the, <clears throat> and the pheasant hunting. But in uh, in about 1987, we started the grouse and woodcock guiding, and and it's kind of taken on a life of its own. It's been that way since. You you have here at Little Moran, and, and that's some people need to understand. If you have a pheasant operation too, full kitchen facility, lodging, bunkhouse, or private rooms or a big house people could come and rent from you and Gail. But the big thing is, they will not see much of Steve Grossman once grouse season starts. But you have a great staff here to help these guys. We've got a super staff. We've got uh, Yvonne and Al and Kathy and just a super staff that, that takes care of all the day hunts, the pheasant hunting and the chucker partridge. Uh, the grouse season is really pretty short, so we hunt from mid to late September right. until the first part of November. Deer season comes in, so we're out of the woods at that right. time. But, uh, you know, we go through, you know, a fair number of pheasants here each fall. And, you know, it's, uh, it is a sad thing that so much of it comes together at such at a short period time. of time. Because yep. I'm in the grouse woods when so many pheasant hunters are coming through. But uh, uh, we're always home at night. You know, the greatest thing about, uh, about coming in with, with whether it be the pheasant hunting or a grouse hunt, at the end of the day, the meal that the staff puts on in the dining room, it just uh, it makes a bad day great. It makes a great day even greater, and uh, there's a lot more uh, a lot more birds taken around the around the fireplace and the dining room table than there is in the <laughs> yeah. field each day. But it it, that, it it kind of accumulates into a, yeah. into a great yeah. deal. It's the nuances. It is. Steve, you have people from all over the country that come in and hunt with you for grouse and woodcock, but from my experience with those people, they really come to hunt with Steve and his setters at Little Moran. They seem to be the type of people that they love the dog work and you have the dogs to exhibit to them. You're one of the few dog people that I know handle two dogs at a time in the woods. You know, it just kind of started with all the training. We'd start running some young yep. dogs with the old dogs and we found that they started backing and honoring. So that's kind of been our trademark because I always run a brace of setters, you know, when I'm guiding in the grouse woods and, and uh, Again, this, the setters have really made the business, and we've kind of been lucky enough that the setters have pulled us along. And right. Really what what happens? Right. Uh, <clears throat> they do. I mean, you know, we've had we've got grouse hunters that have been with us for 19 years, and a, and a large percentage of our of our grouse hunters for 17, 18 years. We had uh, our, our our great friend Pete. He's 85. Was in again this last fall. Isn't that amazing? And you know, I've I've got a couple of his setters. We still tune up for them, and and. Uh, the, the, really, the dogs are the is the the nucleus of the whole thing, right. and the dogs they, they take us to birds. Right. They have good bird manners, 
and they provide our guns with some really high opportunity right. shooting op or percentages and and really that's what makes the whole deal right and uh, so yeah you know that we've been we've got some great dogs we've got some some great breeding in our dogs uh, uh, you know so it's the, the other good thing that we've got is we've got in Minnesota we've got a good grouse population right. and you, as anyone knows that hunts grouse and woodcock or any wild birds you have to have the dogs on a wild game in order to really finish them right off. now if you enjoy great dog work and fascinating cover and birds. Stick with us here at Focus Outdoors with Steve Grossman and his English setters. You're gonna enjoy this show. This segment sponsored in part by Country Vet Pet Foods, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Is the number of upland game birds on your hunting property down from years past? The surrogator from quail and pheasant restoration technologies can change that. Our patented surrogator process works by placing day-old chicks in the unit, which provides the heat, food, water, and protection needed for the first month of a game bird's life. The birds are raised in isolation on your property. In just four or five weeks, the birds are released, and your hunting potential is maximized. Call or visit us online, quail and pheasant restoration technologies. The bond between man and dog is one of the most trusted relationships. For your loyal hunting companion, choose the brand that's trusted, Remington. All Remington Sporting Dog products are unconditionally guaranteed. So whether you're buying one of our dog collars, leads, training dummies, or any product from our complete line of training and hunting accessories, you'll be buying the best. To find a dealer near you, visit www.remingtonsportingdog.com. Experience South Dakota. Experience world-class hunting in the heart of South Dakota's pheasant country. Visit HuntinSD.com for lodging and hunting vacation packages. Great places, great places, South Dakota. This segment sponsored in part by Rio Ammunition, sporting ammunition since 1896. Dog work took us a long oh, time to get here. Yeah, awesome. With woodcock, especially, Steve, I think we should let people know that if you don't mark these birds, they're probably one of the hardest birds to find. Oh, they are. Even if you look at the breast color of the breast, if you flip it over, it's a color of a leaf. So, yeah, it, and that's the key is when you're shooting grouse and woodcock, especially, you know, when you're in a, into any kind of a clear cut, for one gun, if you have two, two guns, for one, the guy that made the shot to stand still. And send the other person into uh, you know into the line and into the mark for the bird. Did you put a shell in? Yes, I did, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do her oh, again. That yep, was yep. a lot of fun. Yep. Good chunk of this yet, there. You still got a bird in here somewhere. Uh, we'll take it down a bit. Okay. 
diagonally go back to when we came out of this stuff. There's a bunch of good food down here. There's a ton of dogwood, and there's still a lot of high bush cranberry. All food sources. Yeah, you know. and, and the thing is, a lot of people, they may look at this, Steve, and think, oh, this is way too old. Yeah. But bottom line, and this is what I have in my country to hunt, is it opens up, but it allows the sun to get in and regenerate the food sources, such as hazel, dogwood, high bush cranberry, and all those are food stops for those birds. You just have to learn when to hunt those types of covers. It has not been lack of seeing the bird that, that hasn't put them on the table. No. The dogs have done their job, the cover is user friendly, but we just haven't been able to connect. And, and that is really, to me, the sport of the game. It is the hardest game for upland hunters, as you've heard and I've heard over the years, to connect with the bird. Just because of terrain, the bird likes to run through the cover. Um, it's just the toughest game there is to play. Well, let's work this piece of cover, try to push another bird or two the way you'd like us to do this. Yeah, and there's a, a really good finger and some other food up here. We'll make a quick run through there. Okay. And, and uh, oh, we've got tons of cover to work. And there you go. And we got the dogs to door. All right. Fine. high bush cranberry in some of these low areas you know where we get into some of this uh, the swamp edges and you know years ago as uh, the old biologists think that uh, you know good grouse cover is a high water table and when you've got a high water table like this alder swamp we're into right now uh, high bush cranberry you know is, is a pretty common common food for the birds and it's great for people in the uh, uh, during the fall or in the early fall when we're out hunting we'll come out and grab uh, bags full of it and then uh, Gail and Yvonne and the gals back in the kitchen, they make a really great uh, uh, sauce. They boil the high bush down. We use it over duck and, and woodcock, and uh, it's a great sauce. They're, they're kind of great. They're very good in the, in, the, uh, in the fall of the year. You get a little thirsty, pop one in, get your little uh, uh, vitamin C kick, a little tart, but uh, you kind of take your, uh, your uh, thirst away, and it's great. It's a high bush cranberry. Oh. This segment was brought to you in part by Real Wings, the deadliest decoys on the planet.
This segment sponsored in part by Rio Ammunition, sporting ammunition since 1896. Go! Boom! Between you and I. Went the other way and stayed low until he was way out there. He didn't wait very long. Is he worth chasing? You want to go forward and chase that other one? Doug, let me tell you, when you're hunting edges like this, and a bird falls out into this grass like this, without these dogs, we don't have a snowball's chance to ever find that bird. Not at all. Full circle. They pointed it, we flushed it, Dougie shot it, retrieved the game, which is an accomplishment in itself Thank out you. here. Oh boy. That's great. Fun. Good job, everybody. Open. Rouse, right here. Rouse! Good job, Steven. Nice, nice bird. For your gray face, guys. Yeah. There we go. There's your gray face tail. Yeah. That's a nice bird. He's a good bird. 
Little male. Yep, little male. Two dots. Two dots. Bing, bing. Again, staunch dogs allow me to go back around that tree. Yeah, so they did a great job. Your tape. Yep. Steve, on behalf of Focus Outdoors Television, I want hey. to thank you great for time. probably one of the best times I've had grouse hunting in a long time. The dogs were absolutely magnificent today, and you should be very proud of that crew that you have on that truck right I now. I am. They've been great, and it's great to share it with you guys, and it's fun to. Uh, Great to share it with people that, that are, understand what the dogs are doing. Yeah. And, cause yeah. and I want to thank Douglas for coming along and beating the brush with us today. He's been an asset yeah, to Focus yeah. Outdoors Pro staff. Very knowledgeable on his own right on the dog I've, end of things. I've seen his dogs and uh, yeah. you guys put a good group together. So folks at home, if you want to have a trip of the lifetime, or if you just have a question, call Steve Grossman. He is probably, in my opinion, one of the finest grouse experts that you'll ever have a chance to share the day with. On the behalf of Focus Outdoors, I want to say thanks to Steve and Gail Grossman, the crew at Little Moran Hunt Club, Steve's dog, Doug Shinburn, and you for viewing this week. I hope you enjoyed this show as much as we enjoyed making it. It was exciting from the first dog down to the last bird picked up. Tune in again next week for more exciting bird action. This segment is brought to you in part by Pattern Master, shotgun chokes for any game. Do you want your decoy spread to be more effective and attract more waterfall? Introducing Bird Vision UV Reflective Decoy Paint. See what the birds see. Bird Vision Paint will make your decoy spread come alive, be more realistic, and more effective. That's Bird Vision Paint, available at realwings.com, or call 701-365-8222 for more information. After a long, successful wing shooting hunt, is there an easier way to clean your birds? Yes, there is. Introducing the Bird Hitch Cleaner, stainless steel construction that makes your bird cleaning safe and easy, more portable, with less waste and easy cleanup. The Bird Hitch Cleaner is available on Focus Outdoors TV's online store at www.focusoutdoorstv.com. Hunt smarter, not harder. Is the number of upland game birds on your hunting property down from years past? The surrogator from quail and pheasant restoration technologies can change that. Our patented surrogator process works by placing day-old chicks in the unit, which provides the heat, food, water, and protection needed for the first month of a game bird's life. The birds are raised in isolation on your property. In just four or five weeks, the birds are released, and your hunting potential is maximized. Call or visit us online, Quail and Pheasant Restoration Technologies. The bond between man and dog is one of the most trusted relationships. For your loyal hunting companion, choose the brand that's trusted, Remington. All Remington Sporting Dog products are unconditionally guaranteed. So whether you're buying one of our dog collars, leads, training dummies, or any product from our complete line of training and hunting accessories, you'll be buying the best. To find a dealer near you, visit www.remingtonsportingdog.com. For more information on the products seen on today's show, please visit us at www.focusoutdoorstv.com. There you have it, rough grouse hunting in central Minnesota. What a challenge and what a good time. Our thanks to Steve Grossman of the Little Moran Hunt Club.
Remember, do these three things for me. One, take a child with you on your next hunting or fishing trip. Two, generously support your favorite conservation organization. And three, spend some time in the next week where you focus on the outdoors. Finally, remember to check out our website for links to our sponsors and our online store. For the staff of Focus Outdoors, I'm Steve Hammer. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time when we continue the journey making more memories. Focus Outdoors was brought to you by Quail and Pheasant Restoration Technologies, the next generation in game bird restoration. Remington Sporting Dog, quality products for family, pet, and sporting dog owners. South Dakota Tourism, visit huntinsd.com to plan your hunting vacation to South Dakota. Rio Ammunition, sporting ammunition since 1896. Country Vet Pet Foods, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Pattern Master, shotgun chokes for any game. And Real Wings, the deadliest decoys on the planet.